Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the migration of the European Nightcrawler and Red Wiggler, formerly Cocoon Only bins, into what down here is going to be their grow up bins. Alright, so these are the upside, up, blah, 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 upstairs bins. So they have not been a part of the debacle that's been happening in the basement. So let's go and have a look at them. So I was migrating these and I honestly don't know where we left off. So I'm going to have to dig around a bit and see if I have a worm pile. Looks like there is a interesting whole avocado and lots of avocados. I'm starting to wonder, I don't remember putting these in here. Do you guys remember me putting these in here? I don't. Okay, so there's paper. So this must have been where the migration was trying to happen. But it is too far gone. I missed it. Probably was something to see a week or so ago, and I just have not gotten around to it. Well, darn it. So, gonna have to. Yeah, I know it's not on this side. I don't know why I'm even looking. But if we wanted to look at really super awesome castings that are super fluffy and super wet, um, that's certainly where I would look although that is not the point of what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and now that I am in a better position to keep an eye on these guys week by week, we'll probably have some better luck getting some migration. So I'm going to give them one of their favorite foods. Pumpkin. So I did put the word out in my realm of people and said if you have any jack-o'-lanterns or anything, let me know and I will come fetch them or you can put them at my house. And so that is what has happened. So I don't know if my uh, brother-in-law watches, but if he does, thank you for the pumpkins. So we will put the lids back on the European night crawlers. Looks like we still have a long way to go before that is done migrating. All right, let's move over to the Red Wigglers. Now these look like they're very much, it's a much finer casting. No, maybe we are gonna have a worm ball with these guys, or at least a little bit. So let's, let's see if I can pull a pile of them out. I don't, not really, really, I don't even, not sure I know what that, oh, is that a potato? I swear somebody else has been feeding these worms. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that smells kind of funky. Yeah, like real funky. Like not good funky, bad funky. Hmm, I'm going to have to leave the lid off of this one. I think the feeding of the whole avocados, which I honestly do not remember doing, was not a good idea. Um, but I am going to leave them a piece of pumpkin because that is going to take a long time to break down. But I'm going to leave the lid off so this can dry out. I think the combination was definitely too much. Alright, I am going to bring you back when I have the lower bins exposed. Okay, and here we are on the large grow up bins here, looking in on the European night crawlers. This is their, oops, worm quick. This is where we've been putting the worms that were migrated out. Seems like it's also pretty wet and they're already making some really nice castings in here. I don't see any food. 
but it is pretty wet. So I'm going to give them some more pumpkin, or give them some pumpkin, and that will take quite a while to break down because it is raw. It's not been frozen. Cover them back up. Give them something to eat. They're just as happy with their their bedding. They're they're happy. They came over with some food. But they're looking like some nice worms. Very nice worms. All right. Put this back together. Move the red wigglers over. Okay. So let's take a look at these guys. Same story, pretty wet, but that really only bothers me. That doesn't bother them. You can see the really fine castings already. So they look like they're already mixing it up pretty good in here. Kind of fluff up everything here because I am, I do subscribe to the fluffing mentality for worm husbandry. So let me go grab them some pumpkin. Okay, here we go. Some pumpkin for them. Next time, if it's still wet, the furnace has started kicking on here quite a bit, so. Um, I'm hesitant to leave the lid off of this because this is not super dry, but um, I do have a lot of problems retaining moisture in the winter. Um, so I don't really want to give up on these guys letting it dry out yet. The smaller bins, yes, those are crazy wet. These ones, not so much. Alright guys, well that looks like that is the the extent of what we're doing here is an immature red one. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. So if you like the video, go ahead and click that like button. If you're not already a member of my worm family, go ahead and hit subscribe. And then if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, go ahead and ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.